Leo. What you need to be aware of is represented by the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. This is an energy of no longer putting work into something. And this may be something in the past you put a lot of time and energy into, but no more. The lady on this card looks like she works from home. So this may be home related or a personal relationship that we're talking about. In the past, sorry, your obstacle, the five of pentacles in reverse. This is no longer being out in the cold. You're back on your feet and predominantly providing for yourself. This may be an obstacle in the respect that certain people possibly liked the fact that you needed or relied on them. However, that is no longer the case. I feel like all is being revealed now. Maybe you had to play along to a certain situation until you had your ducks in a row. Not to be sneaky, but to have your best interest in the forefront for a change. In the past energies, the Five of Cups. This is a card of loss great loss and sadness but the person on this card is sad because they have lost their taste for something in particular there is no getting this taste back this isn't how they envisage things going but they know there is no option but to mourn and heal this loss then turn around and focus on the two cups behind them that are still standing not all is lost here in the future position we have the king of cups this person is kind, caring, compassionate, in touch with their emotions and willing to be open and give freely. As you see, the waves are crashing down around this person, but they sit here cool, calm and collected. They might bring a peace to you that you haven't felt in a while. I feel like if you don't have someone like this in your life already, you will soon. It's an emotionally supporting person who you can trust and lower your walls with. If this card is you, you're a sincere friend and confidant. Let's grab a oracle card from the Gateway Oracle deck. Can we please get any further guidance or messages for Leo? Any further guidance or messages for Leo? We have got embracing the future. I step into the future with an open heart. And I'll just read it from the book. Okay, here we go. What is expected in life tends to be realized. If you anticipate an amazing, joyous, healthy, prosperous future, this is more likely to occur for you than if you assume the worst. Expect the best. Be open for anything. Imagine your life filled with happiness. Your wondrous future is resting on the horizon of your soul, shimmering and bright. The universe wants you to know, today is yesterday's future and in every moment you are creating your future. If you're patiently waiting for the future to bring you joy and contentment, your desired outcome may never arrive. But if you learn to create happiness now, your days will be filled with pleasure and bliss. It's great to have a dream. However, if you don't learn to find satisfaction in the meantime, you may not notice when your dreams come true. The purpose of life is not about manifesting your desires. It's about discovering the inner gifts of the heart and experiencing and sharing joy. Be happy now. Enjoy the journey as much as the destination. Questions to ask yourself. What is my probable future? If I'm not satisfied with it, what action steps do I need to take? What is my greatest contribution to the future? That's what I have for you, Aries. I hope something in this reading resonates for you.